name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the end of the 40 days, Noah opened the hatch he had made in the ark, and he sent out a raven to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. It flew back and forth until the waters dried off from the earth. He then sent out a dove to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. But the dove could find no place to alight and perch. In its return, and it returned to him in the ark. For there was water all over the earth. Putting out his hand, he caught the dove and drew it back to him inside the ark. He waited seven days more and again sent out the dove from the ark. In the evening, the the dove came back to him. And there in its bill was a pluck of olive leaf. So Noah knew the waters had lessened on the earth. He waited still another seven days and then released the dove once more. And this time it did not come back. In the 601st year of Noah's life, in the first month, on the first day, the waters began to dry up on the earth. Noah had removed the covering of the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was dried up. Noah built an altar to the Lord, and choosing from every clean animal and every clean bird, he offered burnt offerings on the altar. Then the Lord smelled the sweet odor and said to himself, Never again will I doom the earth because of man, since The desires of man are evil from the start, nor will I ever again strike down all living beings as I have done. As long as the earth lasts, seed, time, and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. The word of the Lord. The response is, to you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay. 
in the presence of all his people, precious in the eyes of the Lord, is the death of all of his faithful ones. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we, that we may know what is, the, what is the hope that belongs to his call. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and said, and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid hands on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, one thing is clear from the gospel passage that this man could see sometime in his life, right? Because he said, I see human beings walking like trees. So if you never saw anything, you wouldn't know the difference between a human being and a tree. Okay. But I think the whole purpose, the, the disciples were seeing Jesus and understanding Jesus. The people were seeing Jesus and understanding Jesus. But the level of seeing and the level of understanding was different to each group. They all saw him differently, different levels. They all understood him differently, different levels. So let's see the, uh, the levels of seeing and the levels, the clarity of seeing and the clarity of understanding. Do you all think it's all clear, the same? We see everything as clear as it is. How many of you can see things as clear as it is? As clear as it is. As clear as it is. As clear as it is. Okay, how many of you can understand facts as clear as it is? As clear as it is. Nobody? That's interesting. Yeah, you're doing good, okay? If any of you say that you can see that the, you can see as clear as it is, I will call you a liar. If you say that you can understand everything clear as it is, again, you are just lying because nobody can do that. We all see things but with a lot of imperfections, right? Because of our vision in whatever way it's going to, it's limited. Again, understanding too. Even what I am saying, all of you understand it differently, okay? I am giving the same talk to everyone in this, in this church. But I bet all of you understand me differently. Everyone is, because you understand with a lot of other filters. So it all depends how you hear me, okay? It's a story. This teacher was teaching his, uh, uh, his students and they were actually on the other side of a river and the mountain and everything on the other side. 
So this man asked the uh, students, when can you say that there is light and I see? When can you say there is light and I see? Okay. So one student, he said, well, I can say if I can see the mountain there and the river, and if I can differentiate between the mountain and the river, I can say there is light and I can see. Okay? Right? It's a good answer, right? The mountain and the river, I can see both of them and I can see one is river and the other is mountain. If that case, I can say, I can see and there is light. Okay. The other student said, well, we have a tree there on this side of the river and a cow grazing under the tree. So if I can see the tree and the cow and I can say, one, the cow is there and the tree, they are different, I can say there is light and I can see. Okay? Well, that's a good answer. And comes the third student. He said, well, I see that man and woman working in the field on this side of the tree. And if I can see them as human beings, and one as a man and the other as a woman, I can say, there is light and I see. Right? Good answer. So they give different answers like that. But finally, the teacher said, you can say there is light and you see only if you see the human being in front of you as your brother or your sister. The moment you see that human being as your brother or your sister, you haven't seen anything. There is no light. You don't see anything. Do you follow me? All the other things are different levels of seeing, different levels of seeing and understanding. The tree, sorry, the mountain and the river, you see they are different. The tree and the cow, they are different. The man and the woman working, yes. But the moment when you realize, you understand, you are seeing your brother and the other human being, that's the moment of real seeing and real understanding. Okay? And that's what Jesus was doing all the time. He saw in everyone his brother or his sister. Do you follow me? Still with me? Wonderful. Okay. So Jesus, for him, every single human being in the world was his brother or his sister. His father's sons or daughters. And that's the level of seeing and understanding he wants us to have. When you see others, think about, this one is my brother. This one is my sister. And from that moment onwards, we can say, I see and I understand. We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to see Jesus in others. For the church leaders, may the Holy Spirit forfeit them, forfeit them in their gospel mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local representatives, may God grant them wisdom in their efforts to defend the Dignity and sanctify and sanctify of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. 
For those who are overwhelmed with difficulties, may the Lord bless them with his consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our faith community, may the Lord increase our commitment to spreading the gospel image. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may the may they soon be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Winstero, for whom this mess is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We fly to thy protection. O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petitions and our necessities. But deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit is for salvation through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the chorus of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim.
You are indeed holy alone, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your will is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Sean our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you, look not on our, sin, on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let's offer each other a sign of peace.
behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.